We are gathered here today to honor the memory of Lieutenant Colonel William Smith. William was many different things to many different people. To his family, he was a loving son, brother, husband, and father. To his brothers in arms, he was a faithful, trustworthy comrade. To his superiors, he was respectful and loyal. To his recruits, he was a fabulous leader. And finally, to his country, he was an outstanding pilot and serviceman, someone who deserves appreciation and recognition for his pivotal role in the war in Europe. Lieutenant Colonel Smith was a crucial part of reconnaissance that allowed for our boys to take back Sicily and push further into Italy. May William Smith rest in peace. Thank you all for coming to pay respects to this hero. Take it, your Will's kid brother? I'm his brother, all right, but I ain't no kid, sir. Of course. We'll talk a great deal about you. You said you were some grand psychologist up in Boston. That sounds about right. Major General Frank Tepper. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Raymond, is it? Yes, sir. Good to meet you. Uh, oh, this is Colonel Alan McGuire. My condolences, sir. Your brother was quite a tremendous pilot, Raymond. He always seemed to be in control. I was his CO when we were stationed together in Algeria. He had this amazing flying intuition. Except for Saturday morning. I can't seem to figure out how Will let fog get the best of him. He was always so good under pressure, and he liked meteorology too. Well, perhaps the war got the best of him. Work can do quite a bit to a man's wits. But I assure you, all of my faculties are in my full possession, sir. Now listen here, Temper. I won't let you speak ill of my brother so long as I live. Now, now. No need to get excited, Mr. Smith. It's Dr. Smith. I'll get as excited as I damn well please when some narcissistic geezer tries to disgrace Will's honor. I'm starting to think there's something phony about this whole affair, and I'm fain to see what's what. I've tried to be pally with you, but I've lost my patience. Quit flipping your wig about these fantastical ideas of yours. You want to skip town, next train back to Boston. There's nothing for you here. Will's death is as tragedy as it is. No need to go degrading it with any of this nonsense. I appreciate your advice, Temper, but I frankly don't care. The official report says he was on his way to Newark and was in contact with LaGuardia. I think I'll head over there and see what I can learn. Good day, Jim. I'm looking for a Mrs. Mayfield. Ms. Mayfield. Dr. Raymond Smith. Charmed. Pleasure to meet you. I was told you could help me. That depends. What's your request? I've got a bit of trouble to sort out, Miss Mayfield. It's Janice. So what kind of trouble does a darling like yourself get involved in? Much obliged, ma'am, but uh, the trouble's with my brother. You see, he was the pilot of that, uh, that plane that crashed into the Empire State Building the other day. Oh my, how sad. I wouldn't know much about that. Maybe you should talk to the operations man manager in Terminal 3. That so? Well, um, yes. I can't help you. Look here, Janice, I don't have time for this wild goose chase. I was just at Terminal 3 and they said you were in direct contact with Will's plane. I'm sorry, Dr. Smith. I didn't mean anything by it. The army man wanted me to keep hush-hush about it. He didn't want the press to meddle. Army man? What army man? I don't know his name. Never even saw the gentleman. He called me up Saturday morning and gave me the instructions, then hung up. I didn't know what he was intending. No, no, Janice, calm down. What can you tell me about this man and your communications with him? Anything you have will be helpful. He was a commander in the army. He told me to shift the course of a B-25 bomber headed to Newark. He told me it was a matter of national security. I was just doing as I was told. You have to believe me. So you sent him right into the heart of the fog? No, no. The Major General told me I was diverting him from the fog. Major General? Did I say Major General? I suppose he could have been a colonel or a lieutenant. Damn it, woman, out with the truth already. Or, or so help me, I'll turn you in. Okay, okay, fine. His name was Major General Tepper. He never gave me a first name. I knew there was something queer about that dope boy. Where can I find him? He never gave me a place to find him. Not even a number. Just a name. That's all I know, I swear. Like hell it is. I'm not letting you out of my sight until I find justice for my brother.
Yes, hello, this is Dr. Raymond Smith. I'm calling to find some information on a major General Tepper. Well, what do you mean he's dead? No, no, that's impossible. I just saw him last week. Hmm, I see. Well, then what was his last address? Okay. 141 West 72nd Street, apartment 201A. Thanks so much. Got it. Little Smith, what are you doing here? How'd you find where I live? I have my sources. I can do research as well as any two-cent detective in this city. Well, I bet you think you have the whole story, but you only have the tip of the iceberg. You civilians have no idea the type of things that we army men have to go through, the decisions we have to make. You mean the decision to kill my brother? Raymond, I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but your brother was in possession of very sensitive information that could have been very harmful to us and our country in the wrong hands. I was given orders to rid the army of this problem by any means necessary. So murder was your first option? Of course not. I tried to warn him, but he just wouldn't listen. I tried to give him a way out, but he just wouldn't take it. My hands were tied. Alexei, my informant has contacted me. We are to meet him in two hours at Grand Central Station with the missile specifications. A train will be waiting for us there. <gasps> You're right, Tepper. Or should I say Alexei? I don't understand the decisions you army people have to make. Like, the decision to betray our country. Your country. I can't believe you got this poor girl mixed up in all this. Got her mixed up in it? It was her idea in the first place. What she didn't count on was your persistence and her weakness of heart. She overs Jim. Privieta, Barashto. You won't get away with this. Oh, I'm afraid we will. It's a shame that I'm going to have to kill two Smiths in one week, but it will be, as you Americans say, collateral damage. McGuire! Freeze, Soviets! Put your hands in the air! You didn't think I'd come without backup, did you? McGuire here has had his, his own suspicions for some time about you guys. Mm -hmm.